Alrighty, we're gonna do a ground free master and we're gonna try and run all the way through. This is a blitz. Um, uh, we're going to probably use Red Gazelle just because he used to be one of my favorites. Uh, and it's been a long while since I raced him. So we're gonna run through the entire thing. All of them. As long as, uh, as long as, as long as my frames hold up. What's that supposed, supposed to be in Amy? Too hard to see in uh, in uh, on a phone. Amazing. In white mode? Wait a minute, Amy, do you use white mode? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ew, gross. I have two moderators who both use light mode. Gross, disgusting. Disgusting. Strategically holding down the accelerator so I don't fling off into space. Holy shit. Whew. I cut the corner. I'm gonna watch that on replay. Holy shit, what the hell? Whew, that looks awesome. Has my mouse been on screen this whole time and no one told me? I'm so disappointed in you, Mom. I thought you were my bros, bros. Broskies. Brohamos.
my life for the optimal line. I didn't mean literally, don't kill me. Bro, Tito Chill. It's true. Driver in front of me. Okay, cool. They killed each other. Or at least pulled each other back. Three, two, one. I knew he was going to struggle the most on. I'm not going to try. Here, we're gonna wait until the last second. Speedy Gonzalez, or no, Speedy McSpeedster. Easy, plenty of time. Nearly an entire tenth of a second ahead. Plenty of time. What was I even worrying about? Random mailman. He looked at me the wrong way. He took my line. And that's roughly how you do that when you have a unhandled vehicle. This retract is also a great time for you if you haven't figured out what your top speed is normally. You figure it out right about here. -ish. I'm at uh, 1037. Uh, mentally add about 10 to 15 percent of that speed on top of itself, and if you are above that number, uh, that's when it's more advantageous to let off the accelerator. I have a doctor right behind me. There it is, boys. The ambulance is going to be called. Oh, shit. No, not for me. Close to me. 
was holding on to that to be safe. Why did Dr. Steward do a nice little ending? Oh, Skeletor beat him! This is hopeful. This is a terrible start for me. Watch that replay. Yeah, it's too far out. We'll keep an eye on it. I missed the boost, that's not great. Need the super tomb starting there. It's on his fat ass. Get that corner too early. Luckily, someone uh, gave me a little boost. Get me back in the face. not posing well for, good for me. However, I am first. That's better, I suppose. Nothing. Cool, right? I'm conserving a little bit of boost there on the, um, on the straight because I didn't quite have enough health to be happy with. We're back into normalcy again now, thankfully. There, so we can go all out here. Easy. Thumbs up. Okay, so Amy. This is gonna sound really fucking stupid because I have no idea why this is the case. Uh, and we can spend all day hypothesizing. However, ever since I closed Firefox, I have not really dropped any frames. Fucking what? Why? I don't know. There have been a couple, but not many. And I cannot tell you why.
my frame percentage has gone to, from about 4.2 to 2%. Like it's halved my frame drop percentage, and I still haven't restarted the stream at all. So I think that most of those are still from just when I had a you know, Firefox on. It's ridiculous. Uh, mentally too. Yeah, so. I mean, my computer has on again, off again issues too. But so the reason I let those play is because I actually wanted to see the uh, finish times. Alrighty, um, we are going to end up asking all of these questions. So I'm just going to run down the list. We'll start with what do you do besides race? What do you do when you're not racing? Disaster rescue. I can go where humans can't. I see. Thank you for the interview. And that's all for Adrenaline Driven F-Zero TV. That's it, everyone. We'll see you at the next Grand Prix. Legend. Also, he says where humans cannot. He's actually a human. He is, he is not a robot. He is a human who got in an extremely severe crash. Dr. Stewart, the person I pointed out before, um, saved him. See for yourself. Very necessary. And then we'll do the replay of it. Alright. What a legend. You know, if I was smarter, I would have I would have kept that away from you until the very last one and then shown you it after hyping him up for so long. That would have been that would have been smarter on my part. <laughs> Well, congratulations, early people. Alright, Big Blue Drift Highway, the one we're going to die in. Because we're doing all max speed all the way through. Oh, look at this fucking banger. So unlike other cars, he, as I said, he handles a lot more like a Formula One vehicle, which means that I have to take the turns wide and deliberate, which is fascinatingly different than most of the other cars I race. My guy's a legend. My guy's dead. Dead as hell. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, we got it. Fuck yes. Holy shit. Max speeding on this track and still getting first is insane. I think that beats the staff ghost. One second. That might beat Staff Ghost. It does not beat Staff Ghost. Staff Ghost has a 107. However, there's a couple of mistakes I made. I could totally beat Staff Ghost with this car, which is fascinating. <laughs> you know what? I'm feeling a little... I'm feeling... I'm feeling gold. Let's go gold. Wait, no. Gold is for the end. 
Uh, he's gonna get a new. I, mean, I like like this all is red. I might do blue uh, on big blue tracks from now on, and green from uh, for green courses, but. Just for a little bit of fun. speed transfer, however, someone's fat ass down the way. watched me race a fair bit, you definitely know that this is not my normal line for Twin Marita. And that's exactly what I mean by uh, running like a Formula 1 car. He's taking 17 off this, that's not bad. Missed that boost, that's not great. I kind of like that uh, the way that these cars handle makes them fundamentally different from one another. I love the amount of variety that this game has. There's somewhere you need to power steer, I mean on a super turn, to turn around corners, there's the ones that turn on the dime. And then there's ones like this where if you set it up right, the only two, I mean, the only three buttons you need are accelerator, the uh, control stick, and the boost. 15 ain't great. You still periodically want to super turn with him, but usually that's only if he's messed up. It's really, really interesting. Morb all over the place. No, wait, no, it's Mobius, not Morbius. <laughs> Amy's favorite song. Real question is do we beat the guitar? My money's on yes. them in the name that is of all that is, all that is Morbius. And we're about to Mobius strip down. I yeah. Barely! Just barely beat the guitar! You can tell that they made this track before they made the song and they asked the guitarist to make that riff at roughly that time, exclusively for that moment. You can tell, and I love it. <laughs> Not a lot, we'll make it work. 
Not like that. Oh, sh... No health, no problem. Whew! I glanced down at chat and nearly died. No, did we beat? You're so good at making friends. Amy, stop being horny. You horny bitch. It's when Narita disqualified Kid Phillips. Red Gazelle painted its, you know, red, red color. <laughs> Trademark red. No, our rival is our biggest fan, I think. Um, I think he's the pink dinosaur. And literally in his bio, he lists Red Gazelle as one of his favorite drivers. Ugh. Do I kill my fan? <laughs> the message I would like to tell you is racing is challenging and don't ever challenge me again, bitch. Leave it to the professionals. <laughs> that's 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 how you're justifying murder right this now? Get wrecked new blow. Never me here, hero. Accurate and true. If we didn't corkscrew, that would have been a sub 40, uh, 48. This is me off a little. Red Gazelle, you have just murdered in cold blood your favorite fan. He literally stole the vehicle just to race with you. What do you have to say about this? Get good scrub. Lol, Lamal. He doesn't it. That's better. Falcon. <laughs> what a nerd. What a dork. Red Gazelle is the true correct killer. Alright, time for me to die. I'm out. I'm excited to, for absolute death. Also excited for this banging beat.
such precision, such grace, such absolutely in the wall. It work. Whoa! Absolutely demolished. I want to rewatch that. What the fuck just happened there? Beats to a bunch of times for children. <laughs> That was incredible! Could you imagine if that was on the last lap? Ugh, I wish it was. Wow, oh, that would've been great. Imagine that's how I end the fucking race. Oh, so good. I think I killed some children there. I heard kill children too, and I was like, compute, children, with closest child, in stands, begin murder. Operation Don't Die is go. Surrounded by a bunch of heathens. Across the finish line! Oh my god, my heart! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I was so close to taking first off at two! I'm watching this. <sighs> Death is a power <laughs> I was tempted. I was totally tempted. And I pause unpaused my mobile stream so I have a closer replay, an accurate replay. Whew. Ooh, my heart's going. Oof. Mm, my soul. Look, there's this famous Smash Brothers player, Captain Falcon. Right there. Look at him. And then there's also Fanboy from Fanboy and Chum Chum over on my right. Or screen left. Now screen right. Screen left. Why the fuck did I make that reference? I'm old. <laughs> chum chum. <laughs> no, that's in the trunk. That's, that's in the trunk of the car. <laughs> Please, Brad Gazelle, please, let our, uh, let Drac win so he can pay for the cancer treatment of his, of his daughter. Well, that is an interesting proposition, and I certainly hope with him well, but honestly, I race to win, and I refuse to actually throw a race, even for the better greatness good. I hope he gets wrecked all out, please. Perfect. All right. Think you'll be, re you'll repeat as champ? Are you confident of defending this title? That's a stupid question. I'm champion now. And I'll be champion next time, too. That is an accurate answer. Thanks for your words of enthusiasm, champion. And that's all for Adrenaline. I stumbled over my words a little bit there, but I hope you that's appreciate it, my. Uh, we'll see you my, at the uh, next Grand Prix. I hope you appreciate my, uh, my, uh, Speed Racer impersonation. There it is. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> no, let me skip it. Good. You all don't get to watch it until the very end, unless you were here earlier, and in which case you got to watch it. But you don't get to watch it late until the very end later. All right, two down, three to go. You won't get up. Red Gazelle all the way through. This is going to be interesting with him. How exactly do you take a wide corner, wide angle on a cylinder? I'm not entirely sure. This is going to be interesting. We're going to. This is going to be a learning experience together. Child detected. Must murder. This car right here, I'm gonna move my mouse on screen, this car right here is uh, piloted by a child. And since it is now canonical that uh, we must kill children, um, he must die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Violence is the only end language that children understand. Oh shit, you're in first. Alright. That's my mark. I completely botched the speed transfer and ended up losing more speed than I had gained. Now, what, Brenda? Um, well, the Sea Rock goes. Uh, we deduced in the previous Grand Prix that this man will go out of his way to kill children. Um, don't ask why. Uh, that's stupid. But, uh. I'm just playing the character. It's, it's, it's part of acting. I think I found the way to take it wide. I also just kind of hate that child, just in general. His story also kind of sucks. A lot of the AX cars kind of suck, like personality-wise. Zoda is a fucking lunatic. Um, his voice is weird as shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is injecting cocaine into himself on a 24-7 basis. Um... Ooh! I like this track. Y'all ready for a speed test? Y'all ready to see just how fast we can go? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. 
Question, do we beat the guitar? I think this track is just short enough to be able to do it. You have to be really on it. I'm not entirely sure. They may have timed it so that the guitar is within range of uh, the pipes, actually. It's kind of clever, so... Yeah, they did. That's clever. If I hit the boost, we'd be seeing the pipes as these guitars go off. Death Blink! Easy peasy. anywhere. Ooh, I just got a full-on hitch. Oof, that ain't good. I may be going too fast. So quick. Flicks are so fun. Ugh, I love that thing. Too speedy. Not speedy enough, my friend. Not speedy enough. If there aren't a minimum of three people dead by the end of this race, not fast enough. Not fast enough. So, here's the thing. Anyone who's watched Formula One, I mean, not Formula One, anyone who's watched F Zero knows this is my home circuit. Not my favorite circuit, but my home circuit. There's a problem with this. The way that Red Gazelle functions compared to Twin Narita is fundamentally different. Meaning that a lot of my personal memory of how to run this track is probably wrong. This is going to be interesting. I'm probably going to die. We're also possibly going to go in airborne quite a few times, yes. Alright, so far so good. This is the only circuit in the game in which you will see me hit the brake, which is I set to Y, uh, because if I go too fast, I will fling off and die. I intentionally slowed myself down there. I missed the boost, which is not intentional. I intentionally slowed myself down. Um, so... Here's the thing about momentum throttle. Um, it means that if I reach a certain speed, holding down the accelerator button is actually slowing myself down. So, there's this weird point where you're alternating rapidly between 
it being needed for boost, and it being needed to slow you down, and it really fucks with your brain. Why for why? Make um, to make you second guess doing so? No, because originally it's on B, which is on, a, on an Xbox controller X, and uh, Boost is on Y, which is kind of inconvenient to hit, so I rebound them. Missed that boost, that's not great. Rita. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, I guess I have to race this track again, pensive emoji. I will say, this guy handles like a slightly more controllable rocket on this track. I missed it again! I'm used to Twin Narita. I'm lining it up for Twin Narita's angle, and I'm just missing it. I was too busy looking at when to uh, activate boost based on the boost pad as opposed to my speed there. That was a mistake. Oh, those were mistakes too. I could have had a 106 on this lap. We need to below 14 when we hit this, this, or else we fling off. I figured out that 14 is roughly the airborne point. Do you want over here? Because, oh yeah, we're going for it. <laughs> oh 
my god! Thumbs up. <gasps> Space Eggler! Go! Go! Yes! My sweet baby! <laughs> 26 well deserved, 69, very nice. Alright, who's ready for me to completely fail out of this um, Grand Prix by hitting the laser beams at the end straight of this track because I end up using all my boots very early. I'm ready. Alright, he's a car that can't hit apexes like that. I need to not do that for him. We nearly died right there. You guys have no idea how close we were to just complete death. Okay. To break you down right there, we took the apex properly, but we hit into someone attacking. So, we got flung backwards. The fact that we're not dead at all, I mean, the fact that we're not dead is a blessing. We've nearly died twice now. No fancy business, we're just gonna take this boring. Fuck you, Captain Falcon. This race is gonna be relatively boring. Really, really don't want to die. Guy in third, fourth is an aggressive driver. The guy with his brain showing. This is a big concern for me. Him being this far up means he might attack me. I'm actually very scared. Missing that's bad. <laughs> I wouldn't know that one. I should, I should launch that. <sighs> oh, Mark Schneider can get fucked. I hate him so much. Get fucked, Blue Falcon. <laughs> get fucked, Smash Brother.
All right, time to die showboating. I'm hyped. Also because there's an aggressive driver starting literally right next to me on the starting grid. Not anymore! Oh fuck, the child just passed us. I mean, we just passed the child. And I missed my opportunity to deliver swift justice. My rival's a policeman? Wow. Also, those 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 corners are juicy. Holy shit. I wasn't even looking at the corners. Like, I was looking at the fucking thing on the left. How the fuck did I do that? Three, two, one. It's time for Super Turn slash Boost in Central. Ooh, that was, that was botched. Less juicy. Yeah, it's actually keeping up with me. This gets to show how much more powerful Twin Narita is in my hands, I suppose. Bro finish. Where did, uh, where did Best Boy come? You did your best. You beat Fat Shark, which is actually a shock, but... Hell yeah. Mm. I'm gonna take this award ceremony to briefly eat some water.
So I checked at the start of this Grand Prix. My joke friends were 1,746. Uh, it is now the end of the Grand Prix. My drop frame is 1,746. For some fucking reason, Firefox was making me lose frames. What the fuck? Ever since I closed it, I haven't dropped a frame. What? <laughs> Wild. Fucking insanity. God, computers are weird. How are we doing tonight? We've got two more of these to go. Uh, two of the hardest ones, in fact. Well, one of the hardest ones, and one of the most hard ones. Alright, time for question number three. Got a girlfriend, Eyebrow Wiggle, at Amy Roxwell. Do you have a girlfriend? Of course I do. I hope you don't think she's a cyborg too. Thank you for the interview. We are all looking forward to seeing you in your next oh. movie race. Oh. And that's all for oh. adrenaline driven F Zero T. Not a robot. That's has it, a girlfriend. We'll see you at the next He's fully functional. Similar to data, I suppose. <laughs> of course I do. Like it was a ridic ridiculous prospect. Amy's right, he is hot. <laughs> Two more to go. Alrighty. So for this next one, I'm going to have to race with the um, phone to the to, to my table so I do not get distracted. Because Diamond Cup's first track is insanity in terms of stress. So we ain't talking like I'm gonna, it's gonna be serious time for me. Because this is a hard as shit track to do. So keep that in mind. I don't respond, that's why. Wish me luck. You know, you may have noticed in previous races my uh, thumbstick go all over the place. Watch how very, very little it does up here. Also, this driver I'm passing is an impressive driver, so I'm going to preemptively kill him. First lap, I want to go to the left, as it is the only one of these three. You know, Pico just got himself killed because he tried to spin and fly himself off the course. Because this is the only one of these that has two boost pads as opposed to one. These don't matter too much, but I want to get into the habit of going to the left one, not this one, so I'm actually going to do that. Don't tell. Technically, it's optimal to do another rotate onto that boost for the first lap. This last set, these three, uh, go into the middle again. This is for me because the boost is right at the end, which allows me to have a little bit of extra speed coming into this drop down directly here when I'm at speed because I want to try to transfer as much speed as possible. That speed transfer was atrocious. Um, but, uh, I want to try and transfer as much speed as possible into that. Look at the numbers of people dropping that way. You have to really commit into turning left here. And this one's ultimately the best, in my opinion, simply because it cuts this bank slightly sharper, which I have the opinion that it may make that a shorter turn. You're a dick. Well, we would be boosting again there, but a certain somebody just kind of fucking ruined it. Alright, we go to the left. The reason we go left is because there's a boost pad and then a relatively late uh, heel strip there. It's only about a 15. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. We're gonna coast a little bit here. Try and get more health into this last little bit.
So I'm just boosting. I mean, I'm holding down the accelerator just long enough to get the boost active and then letting go off so I got a uh, momentum throttle. Just to try to get the absolute most bang for my buck for this. I could be taking these turns tighter, but I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not familiar with this car. The fastest speed transfer I've ever gotten there was about 21. So only doing consistently um, uh, 15 or so is pretty bad. I saw whoever was in third place fucking died. Easy. Space Anglers in this one. Go get them, boy. 17th, yeah! A lot of dead drivers that are pretty decent vehicles up here. This is gonna mean getting into the front's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Starting directly next to an aggressive driver is also gonna be pretty rough, too. Alrighty, I'm flipping my phone back over. Hi, everybody. I hope we're doing well. If we could kill Black Bull, that would be nice. I don't think we will, but we may try it if we come alongside him. Ooh, he tried to spin into me, so I'm gonna get past him. Let's just worry about what's staying alive. We essentially pinged off each other because we both attacked. Not a great start coming into this. Um, near aggressive drivers is not good. Number second, I mean, guy in second is an aggressive driver. We're past him, that's good. All right, we should have clean sailing for the rest of this race as long as I do not. He spun there in third because he's attacking some because he's a aggressive driver. Oh, hey, Black Bull. This is a very strange track because it has one of these, and then, you know, I barely touch my health pool, and then there's another one. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Oh, don't do that again. I'm still at 1764 as opposed to 46, so I've dropped in slightly under 20. It's a bit of concern, but I'm noticing my KBS switch to orange and yellow and stuff, and it's a bit concerning me. Okay, 
Firefield Undulation. If you thought seven deaths were a lot back in uh, Trident, prepare yourself because this track is known to absolutely destroy the AI. Um, if that seven is indicative, Child Detective in third. Um, uh, if, if, if that seven deaths in Trident was indicative of the end result, I am expecting a maybe 10 or 15 deaths. There's no guarantee of that, but that's what I'm expecting. One of them is me. Oh, he just immediately lunged for me. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. He's, that's an aggressive joke there when he's swing wide of him. And I hit the fucking top bar. We already have a death, by the way. The primary objective on this track is to not die. We just lost another four drivers. We're down to 25. killed somebody just for the fun of it. However, I have three aggressive dragons directly in front of me. <gasps> Pro tip. Do not race this at speed. Man, do not um do not race this in first person. Just don't do it. Even if even if you even if you're like me and kind of just enjoy first person, don't do this. Oh, I nearly have a free life. Hey, free life. Look at that, look at that alive number, 17. It's about to drop more. I suspect. No, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. I saw at least four ways that jump could have seen you to God's lobby. No kidding. Oh my god. We fucking lived. We did it. We're alive. There are two people in this race. The survivors. And those who didn't. Oh right. Sonic Phantom, Black Bull, Little Wiper, Deep Claw, Iron Tiger, Green Panther, Mad Wolf, Death Anchor, King Nemo, Astro Robin, Rainbow Phoenix, Crazy Bear, White Cat, and myself in the background. Um, all died. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> hey, I got free life out of it. <laughs> I killed five people. <laughs> F-Zero Death Run, no kidding. F-Zero X used to have that, actually, and there's technically a version of that in story mode, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, now that we got through that... Taxi in the city, how appropriate. That also means a whole bunch of good and aggressive drivers are going to be in the front for this race, by the way. Because everyone who died had a car that was just essentially too fast. You know what else it means? It means that our sweet baby boy, Space Angler, is doing pretty well in the standings, all things considered. 
speed transfer. It's awesome. Alright, time to raise the question. Is Mad Wolf in this uh, Grand Prix? And if so, he should see him fairly soon. I think he is. I think he died earlier. But yeah. This, this track essentially asks a very simple question. Do you know how to speed transfer? In other words, land correctly and then immediately go off throttle the momentum throttle. Problem. Just don't hit the wall for it. Do you see a wall? I don't see a wall. Oh, that was fucking clean around that corner. Missing that boost, Lamau. Just to flex on them haters. Later, nerds. Ooh, that was a terrible landing. I thought it was landing on the platform above. <laughs> that is why you need to land properly when you speed transfer. Watching my KBS drop as well. That's concerning. Slow and drop in the frames. Oh, there's a few. Space Angler is actually right now in the ground for you. So cool to see him. Let's see him. Where's my sweet baby bean boy? 23rd. Not bad. All things considered. Alrighty. Now for the single track I like the least. And it's Phantom Roads. My Phantom Roads, Slimline Slits. It's not because it's essentially Rainbow Road at F0. Because it is that. It's not that. Because those slimline slits are actual slits in the goddamn road that are physical. See that slit over there in the distance? It's, that, that, that travels the majority of the time. And for whatever fucking reason, the developers made it actually a gap. Meaning that in first person, you will rock back and forth. And it is super disorienting. Um, it sucks. It sucks a lot. Here, I'll show you. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, rock, rock. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Additionally, I haven't fully learned this track, which also sucks a bit. However, the song's pretty good. I like this industrial stuff. Additionally, there is a blind something at the end of this that essentially gets a bunch of AI killed and it makes me very nervous. This right here, if you go too fast, you essentially ping off it and die. I'm not sure how tight that even is. Someone just died behind me.
Essentially, this is what everyone would want you to do if you're not a professional in an online argument. Just stay in your lane. Stay in your lane and you'll be fine. Not fast, but fine. I'm terrified of taking this thing at speed. That's my problem with it, is I'm just so damn scared of it. Hey, Space Beam. Child murdered, health gained. I killed Samurai Goro's son. <laughs> oh God. Also, I also love how they've made the health strips go right into a death pit. It's hilarious. It's very funny. God, I hit the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still kicked ass. Not even close, baby. <laughs> I just need to not die. Alrighty. This has almost been an entire run of every single cup without ever retiring. I've died a couple times, but this is almost an entire ev all cups one class max speed run. Oh shit, I forgot this. Fuck. That's my bad. Ah oh, well, I'll just have to look them up at the individual races. Because I want to see what my total time is up at the end of the stream. And I was just F doing those for TV. easier, Who has brought you uh, easier access. Alrighty, what about your critics? Some racers are saying your victory is a victory for science. I know they don't want to admit defeat, but they have to acknowledge my skill. Essentially, Thank they're saying the he's playing with uh, are all looking tool assists. To you in your next GP Damn. And that's all. I wonder what they would have to say about the princess and the fucking nerd. <laughs> all right, one more to go. Fifty-five tickets. Nice. AX Cup. The win is as good as mine. This has my favorite track in it. And the rest of the tracks are relatively easy. This win is as good as W. We're gonna switch to gold for the last one just because we're that fucking awesome. Gold gazelle now. Now, let's talk about F-Zero AX. So, at the same time that F-Zero GX came out, there was F-Zero AX. G stands for GameCube. A stands for Arcade. There was an arcade cabinet that had, um, what's the term for it? Uh, a cockpit that moved around, and you could intentionally slide it around to induce drift. I heard that it fun and it handled very, very differently. However, that was, that was claims made by people who were not skilled at F-Zero, so probably didn't know all the tech. Uh, however, uh, all of the tracks on F-Zero AX Cup are those. These are the these are the tracks that are on the arcade cabinet. Um, uh, there's two ways to unlock this. Uh, one is if you had an arcade cabinet near you, you could take your memory stick and uh, memory, uh, think your memory card with you, and you could plug it into the cabinet if it wasn't completely destroyed or vandalized by children. Uh, and uh, you would, upon playing it once, uh, you would unlock the game's cup. But not only that, you would also unlock 
one of the Ant's drivers. Whichever one you selected, if you weren't dumb enough to select Captain Falcon, uh, he was the other option. Essentially, you got to choose between Captain Falcon, um, maybe Samurai Goro, and the um, eight or nine AX racers. Um, and if you selected one of the AX racers, uh, it was like three or four bucks per race. Um, per, 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 per arcade cabinet session, if you selected one of them, you would have permanently unlocked that character for your, uh, for your F-Zero. Um, but, um, Sega and, uh, Namco, um, and I think it's Namco, it would be arcade cabinet, ever in their wisdom, realized that not everyone's going to have access to those arcade cabinets. So, they provided an alternative method of unlocking the G I mean, AX Circuit, um, AX Grand Prix, and the AX characters. Um, AX Cup is unlocked when you beat all four of the um, previous cups, Ruby to Diamond, on, I believe, Expert, but it may be Master. Um, and then, um, uh, then you have access to that. All of the AX uh, drivers, on the other hand, those are a bit harder to get. You unlock those by completing the very hard missions in story mode. Now, this game has a little bit of a reputation. I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but uh, essentially it is hard as balls, especially the story mode. Um, so, beating one of them on very hard is a feat. Beating all of them on very hard? Good fucking luck. Uh, I have done that, which is why I'm a fucking racing legend. But not everyone does that, and it takes some people years. It took me years. It took me until last year. I have owned this game on the GameCube since its release, since 2003, and I never unlocked the AX characters until this emulator uh, about a year ago. It's that level of just don't even bother. It's hard. It's that hard. Um, though I also. To give myself some credit, uh, a few years ago I had the option to do it. I could have done it, and I chose not to because I liked the original 30 drivers, and I didn't really like the idea of introducing the drivers into the uh, Grand Prix. Because when you unlock a driver uh, from the AX Cup, they will automatically show up in the uh, Ruby to Diamonds um, cups. They will always appear here on the AX Cup, but hit it up. But that's okay, but, yeah. <sighs> but that is also to explain why all of these um, tracks have increasing difficulty. There is one more, uh, there is one more track that is not in this cup, but you have unlocked once you complete all of the uh, Grand Prix and Master. Which I think just requires you beating the next again in Master. Um, which is the Sonic Oval. I'm not Sonic Oval. Uh, actually, it might be called Sonic Oval. But it's essentially the uh, oval track that Captain Falcon races on in the simulation in the first chapter of the game. Uh, which was also an AX track. Um, there, however, in AX, you would actually run multiple laps of it. Uh, more than three, I should say. Um, you ran, like, I think it was six or seven? There's essentially each lap with a checkpoint. So that would, whilst there are checkpoints around these all over the place, it's also why you can see the word checkpoint periodically around these tracks. It's because they were for the arcade cabinet. Turned out, by the way, um, that the arcade cabinets actually were literally just the GameCube itself. Um, same specs, same engine, all that jazz. And they figured out, people, very smart people, figured out a way to induce the GameCube version of the game to go into AX mode uh, via a game shark. So you theoretically could play on a controller the, the, game, um, the arcade version of this game. Um, just fun fact.
It really goes to show how much of a hang I have on this character at this point that I'm able to have these kind of commentaries and still maintain a decent pace. I not see So yeah, that's your uh, fun facts for the day. Uh, we'll have another fun fact very, very soon that I've always said every time. Um, you know what? I'll get into it now. Um, the, um, the, uh, what does the arcade version use to control? It uses the arcade cabinet itself. Oh my god, the, the autopilot on um, orchid. Um, it had a cockpit, it has a steering wheel, pedals, and all of that. But you could also, um, physically, spend the, it was also a motion control, not motion control, but it was a motion simulator, that's the term. Um, the uh, cabinet itself would have this cockpit seat and steering wheel and all of that. And if you buckled yourself in, you would enable it to actually tilt and um, twist you slightly. And doing that would induce, if you twist it slightly, it would induce um, um, the equivalent of pressing down on the controller, um, on the uh, triggers um, to slide left and right. But it would also, as it said, rotate you just in general. Um, I've never actually raced on it. I want to. But I don't think... I, I'd have to lose weight and I'd have to find one. However, there is a ongoing pin thread in the um, R um, F0 subreddit that shows every location of a currently functioning and active F0 AX cabinet. Because we are passionate people. Anyways, um, you were technically not getting the authentic F-Zero experience, by the way, because you were watching this back. Uh, probably, considering, as far as we are aware, it is the it is literally just the GameCube uh, inside the arcade cabinet that has been very rigged to handle motion, um, uh, motion simulation and all that. It's been specialized, but it is literally just an arcade, ca uh, an arcade cabinet GameCube. Um, but, uh... You're technically not watching the authentic F-Zero experience, because, aside from me completely messing up there, um, you are watching this at 30 frames per second. Uh, I'm setting this up for something. F-Zero, um, X and F-Zero GX, and if I recall correctly, the original F-Zero, all the way back on the uh, SNES, all have run at 60 frames a second, which is a requirement of the game. Um, Nintendo required all, and, um, I'm certain about X and GX, but let's just go with all three because it's more fun. Um, to run at 60 frames a second to impart a proper sense of speed. And that has been a staple of the, uh, of the console versions of this game for a while. Um, I say this because the last track in this, in, in the AX Cup, um, is so big is so complicated that to be to be able to have it function at 60 FPS um, and all of that, they had to disable the replay feature. Essentially what they're saying is that the replay file would be too big to be viably kept um, because it is such a massive track, there's so much going on, and to maintain 60 FPS would be very taxing and a very big file size. So the last track in the AX Cup is literally a showcase of the absolute maximum that you can get of the GameCube. It's literally a tech demo of the absolute maximum you can get on the GameCube at 60 FPS. Um, this is not that track. So. But this is my favorite track. This is my favorite track because it is by far the most technically demanding track in the game. Uh, it requires you to know a lot of uh, tech in this. I gotta sub one minute. Ah! Saw chat move, I'll look at it in a second. Ooh, that's bad. We'll look over.
I must have missed mis notice. I must have gotten a text or something on my phone. Oh well. Now, for anyone who uh, hasn't seen me play before, I'm not going to be uploading this to YouTube. Um, I like to race in first person solely for the sense of speed. It is not optimal. Um, it's just more fun. You get used to it after a while. You get used to it. This is the tech demo that I was referring to. So, if you ever wanted to know what the absolute limit of what a GameCube could do at 60 FPS, this is the track for you. This is the absolute limit. I forgot to go green for it. Oh well. Oh, Billy's in this race. He's going to do well. Uh, again, just for people who uh, haven't been here before and don't know this little fact, um, Billy is the only, um, also known as the monkey that's currently in second place, is the only car that at full middle of the graph statistics, which is what all the AI use, they can do something known as snaking, which requires intentionally going out of control and then drifting um, in such a way in which you gain acceleration and immense speed. Billy there, now in third, um, is the only AI that can consistently do it on ice, which means he's going to likely be in second because the last uh, portion of this track involves ice. He's going to likely blaze past me in his first lap, in fact, since he's been so far ahead. I'm so close to me. There he goes. It's also just because this guy cannot see for shit. But, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Beautiful. I take this on the, um, I take this branch here on the right, I started moving to the right too early here, just to set myself up for a better line on this, just because I don't want to turn overly harshly. Up ahead is uh, this right here, if you just move slightly to this left and then just go straight here, you can ignore the rest of that ugly bit. I nearly died. Now keep an eye once um, the comm hits the ice where I am right now in the middle. Watch the comm accelerate. Watch, here it comes. Look how fast he takes that loop. Billy's a fucking bullet. He's right behind me now. That's what snaking can do. I never bothered to learn it, because I just didn't particularly like it. Uh, let me read that question after this race.
Hey, checkpoint. Oh dear, I have no health. Since there's a respawn thing after the race ends, is there any mode that has you able to respawn in the match itself? Yes. In practice mode, you can enable respawning. And in multiplayer. I just choose to not have it on because I enjoy the threat of crashing. Wow! Mad Wolf got passed by Death Anger. Surprising. I think you're on point in the last few races. Do you mind blowing this Grand Prix? Doesn't look like it. And there we are. That is every single... This replay cannot be saved. Case in point. That is every single F-Zero GX track. Well, except for one. We'll do that one. We'll do that one after this. Um... It gives you half, if I recall correctly. I think it gives you half. This, what we're currently riding on right now, is also the. Uh, um, this is this is this is the loop that I was referring to as all well, the unlock in the AX. Um, they use it as its victory as the victory loop. Also, our, our boy is going to be blue during the interview. Uh, however, um, also unique to the AX Cup is a set of unique questions to the driver. Um, I want to say that now as opposed to later so that people did not think that it was because I changed the color. Um, so. Also, this crowd in the background, um, all these drivers, this will change based off of who is in the Grand Prix itself. Um, it won't show all 40 drivers, it'll only show the 30 that are participating. Um, 3 on the podium and 27 behind. But I just find it neat that they will interchange which driver is there based off of who is in the Grand Prix. Are you still able to boost after? Because that just sounds like it could be completely broken. Uh, the respawn is extremely slow, and it starts you at slow speed. It's not that broken. It's not that good. At zero TV. You lose a solid second or two just by respawning. F-Zero TV, who has brought you heated race after heated race, will now present... Although it says Mute Station, we are okay, technically I'd like to ask you something. at the bottom of... Uh, we are technically at the bottom of... Um, Casino Palace. So, um, how about an autograph? Tell us about the accident. Do you miss your human body? Or what do you do besides race? We already know this one. So, uh, does anyone have a question? Do you want to know about the accident, or do you miss your human body? Just as I said, he is human. Looks pretty snazzy and blue, though. Look at him over there. Or do we just want his autograph? I mean, his autograph's pretty baller. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess he's human. Well, awesome. One more seconds of none of the answer. I'm just going to default to autograph. Actually, I'm kind of curious about this one. Alright. Do you miss your human body? Don't you miss having a human form? Not at all. You have no idea how good a coat of oil feels or a good jolt of electricity. Thank you for the Fascinating. interview. We are all looking forward to seeing you in your next GP race. And that's all for Adrenaline Driven F-Zero TV. That's it, everyone. We'll see you at the next Grand Prix. I'm totally going to edit out the first time TV. I showed this cinematic uh, before I uh, throw this onto YouTube. 
So this will be the first time the YouTube repeat will so walk all three of you, all three YouTubes. Look at him go. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it repulsed me. Indeed. So, um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>